Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Are you about to buy that bargain bin beard oil stuff, man? Because if you're just starting your beard journey, that's not the route you want to go. You know what? Hold on. Let me play this intro, and then I'll give you my five things you definitely need if you're getting ready to start your beard journey. Welcome back to the Bearded Life, boys. guys welcome back in and if you're here for the first time thank you so much for stopping into the bearded life man if you didn't know my name is joe and around here we like to talk about all things beard men's grooming men's fashion and we also talk about real life man we got the dad series and a few other things going on but today i am here for those guys out there who might just be starting their journey and have no idea what to grab so if you just get into the beard world, man, it can be a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of awesome companies out there that are making great products. And there's so many things, man. If you search up beard tools on like Amazon or eBay or even just Google it, you're going to get hundreds of options, hundreds of different things. you got creams, butters, conditioners, washes, combs, brushes, butters, bombs. There's tons of things out there. So how do you narrow it down, man? Well, what I can do for you today is I can tell you a few essential items you should have, and I can even point you in the direction of a few companies that can help you along the journey here. So let's get down to my top five things that you need to start your beard journey, man. First, I'm gonna do my little honorable mention here. For me, these things have never really helped me as much as they've helped others, but I understand they have a place. They have a purpose and they have a full on journey in this world. And that is your beard bomb. Okay. Now, what is beard bomb? Beard bomb was an item that was created in the originally to help with the styling of the beard, to help tame those flyaways, and get you the style look that you wanted. Now, since then, Beard Bomb has evolved, okay? You still have some of those true blue style and hold bombs, but you also have some of your newer ones, like a jolly old fat man who has his hybrid, which damn near borders on being a butter. It conditions beautifully, it works well, gives you that little bit of hold. Bombs have never really worked for me all that well, but that's just me. I know a lot of guys out there who swear by it. And if you're just getting started and you've got that little stubble beard going on, about an inch, maybe a little bit less or a little bit more than that, if you will, you're probably going to need some bomb to help tame some things and help you in the morning when you got hair sticking up this way and that way, and they just won't cooperate. And that's where Beard Bomb comes in. And again... Jolly Old Fat Man's got a great one, guys. That's jofmbeard.com. Beard Octane also has a really good one. All right? And Fable Beard Co. has another good one at fablebeard.com. I will do my best to get all these listed up above my head somehow. If not, they will be listed in the description, guys. I will list every website I used here so you guys can go check it all out. All right. Now on to the nitty-gritty here, right? The number five item, hey, there's no real number here, there's no real order. These are just five things you need. Next thing I'm going to talk about is your beard brush, okay? Beard brushes come in many forms and sizes and shapes. You've got some really nice ones out there. This one by Zobarhar is absolutely gorgeous. The wood grain finishing on it, 100% boar's hair. Now, that's the one thing you want to be sure of here. When you're buying your boar's hair brush, Make sure it is 100% authentic boar's hair. It is the real deal. There are a lot of imitation brushes out there. That's not what you want. You want the real deal. It works better for your beard, and it gives you more um, help along taming your beard. Sorry, guys. You guys know me by now, man. I don't believe in 8 million takes. I run through this. You guys see me for who I am. Now, for me, this beard brush has been my baby since the day I got it. This comes from Badass Beard Care, 
and it's on their website for, I believe, 20 bucks. Now, as you can see, this thing has seen better days, man. It's taken a beating from me. But I love this brush. Love it. Still love it to this day. Okay? Now, this one from Zilbarhar is a little bit more expensive. This one's about, well, was, the last time I checked, about $45. But it has a beautiful wood finish. It is a heavier brush. And it comes in two different forms. You've got your stiff bristle, which is what this one is, and your soft bristle. Now, stiff bristle to me is a little bit more for getting those really nasty flyaways or those hairs that don't want to cooperate. It'll help get those in line and cleaned up. Soft bristles does the same thing. It's just more of a preference. Which one do you prefer? I prefer a softer bristle. That's just me. Again, you can get this from Badass Beard Care. You can get this from Zobarhar. And ones like this, the oval-shaped ones, can be found on multiple different websites. Um, I believe Beard Octane has one. I know Holy Man Beard Care has one. Quite a few of them out there. They're all really good. And if you're looking for a bargain one that you can grab at a store near you, Cremo actually makes a pretty good brush. Not the greatest one I've ever used, but it does the job if you need it. And it's sitting in your local CVS most of the time. After you get your brushes and such, it's always good to have a nice comb laying around. Just saying, beard combs are absolutely necessary, especially at given lengths, these things are needed. And you want to go with wood, it glides right through the beard nice and easily. It does the job well. Now, a guy like this, one of these bigger sandalwood ones, which you can find at Mudcat Whiskers. You can also find one like this, I believe, from Chesapeake Beard Co. as well. I believe he's got a big boy kind of sandalwood one too. Definitely aren't necessary for somebody who's just starting their journey. But you got your different sizes, man. You got one from Beardaholic here, okay? You've also got Live Bearded. And a lot of websites have ones just like this. You've got your fold-up ones if you want to be fancy, man. There's a ton of different combs out there. What I would advise to you is do your research a bit. Starting off, the Kent combs are great because they're good for multiple size beards. As your beard gets a little longer, they really aren't as good anymore. Not that there's anything wrong with them. It's just your beard's getting bigger and this little guy just doesn't get the job done quite as well as something a little bit bigger does. But getting this three-pack to start with, it comes with this, a smaller one, and a tiny little mustache one. It's not a bad idea. The Kent combs are always a good option when you're just getting started. Also, most sites offer up this comb in a deal. So always do your research. Always look. Find the best option for you. It's going to be a bit of trial of error, guys, okay? I've had a couple combs come through here that I thought looked awesome, got them and they just didn't work well for me but that's part of this thing you're gonna have to try out some stuff figure it out us as reviewers will do our best to try and lead you in the right direction but we're not you guys man we're giving you our opinions based off of our experience that's all we can really do now you're growing your beard out you're doing all these things you start getting that itch right that that itch you know we all know what beard itch is man drives you a little bit nutty I got it. We got it. What do you need? You boys just need some beard oil. Okay? And J-O-F-M Beard's got a great one. It's got the BTMS in here too, which is an all-natural ingredient that helps soften beard hairs. <coughs> Excuse me. Another good one comes from the Bearded Mac. And Chronic Beard also has a great oil that feels amazing in beard. Now, what does that mean? feeling amazing in beard. First of all, it's going to help with the beard itch. It's going to help with your beard drift. It's going to help soften and tame the beard and your beard will feel amazing. And not only is that a benefit for you, but if you've got a significant other, it's a benefit for her. She doesn't have to complain about your beard feeling all straw-like and nasty. This will help with all those things. Now, I know there's some sitting on the shelves in stores and I'm not going to tell you that they're all terrible. Do your research though, guys. Be careful. Know what you're getting. Don't grab something if it's got a bunch of synthetic chemicals and everything else in it. That's not what you need. There are so many great companies out there 
that make these products and make them from all natural ingredients that are great for your beard. Go support those companies because that's the stuff you want for your beard. As far as scent profiles go, man, just know what you like. You know what I mean? Know what you like. All right, you got the oil making the beard a little bit softer now. You got to do something else though, right? Especially nowadays with COVID and all these other things going on. We want to make sure this beard is clean. You don't want it to get dirty or nothing like that. You want it to be clean. And then after you clean it, you, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of extra softness some nights. I got some options for you here. You got your beard washes. Okay, this one comes from Chronic Beard. There's also a few other companies such as Chesapeake, such as Beard Octane, um, <clears throat> that make some really good washes. You got different kinds of washes. You have every day, and then you have deep cleansing, if you will. Now, what is every day? Every day means it doesn't strip the beard as much, so it's not as rough on your beard. It doesn't quite beat it up as much, if you will. But your pine tars and things like that, your deep cleansing soaps are needed still. They're not everyday soaps. I would not use those every day, but they are needed to get all the nastiness that could be piled up in your beard out of there. So maybe once or twice a week, you use one of those deep cleansing ones, go ahead and reset the beard, get it nice and clean again. To help make it all soft all over again, you just need a beard conditioner, man, that's all. And uh, for me, the best conditioner in the game comes from my buddy Gary over at Chesapeake with the Ultra Conditioner. This stuff is phenomenal. Now, there are other companies who have co-washes and stuff. Chronic has one. Um, Wild Schwein's got one. Fable's got one. A co-wash is a conditioner and a wash kind of put together. So that's a good option as well. Having a conditioner in your arsenal is never a bad thing. It just helps make the beard a little bit softer, especially... If you've had a rough kind of day, like if you've been to the beach or if you've been out working all day and your beard has taken a beating, been out in the sun, it feels terrible. Having a good conditioner is always a great option to bring that beard back to feeling nice, soft, and alive again. Now, all these things here, the last thing I want to show you guys here that I think is essential for every beardsman when they're starting their journey is a good old-fashioned beard butter okay now you've got lots of options for beard butter now what is beard butter beard butter is a product that's designed to help trap and nourish it's up i'm sorry designed to help trap the moisture keep the moisture you have already in and help nourish and revitalize your beard if you will it's going to make it beautifully soft now a lot of us in the beard world have used their butters at nighttime. We like to put it in at nighttime, let it sit all night long, help keep some of that moisture in the beard while we're sleeping because you're not drinking that much while you're sleeping, right? You don't drink at all, really. So you get a little bit dehydrated. The butter helps kind of trap some of that stuff in there. And in the morning, your beard feels a lot better than it does if you don't use butter. I promise you. You won't have as many snags and as many tangles and all that other stuff in your beard if you use a good butter at nighttime. Now, my buddies over at Miner's Beard make a very good one. Another one I really enjoy comes from my buddy Pedro over at Black Rebel. And to me, one of the best butters out there comes from my buddy Gary over at Chesapeake with the Beard Vitality. And I'll give you a look at that beard butter there. Look at that. Look at that goodness in there. All right, the biggest thing I want to get across to you is this. If you're standing in a store and you're looking at those products on the shelf, there is an entire world out there full of amazing beard products. Do not let that bad product you grabbed off the shelf, and I'm not saying every product on the shelf is bad, but a lot of the times people are reaching for the ones that they see the most. And we've learned in this community of ours and in this little YouTube world that a lot of those ones just aren't the best option for your beard. Don't let that discourage you from trying out some of the amazing products that are out there. There are so many great things for your beard. And if you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave it in the comments below. 
feel free to DM me. I'll leave my tag for Instagram right up here at beardedlife973. I will answer any questions you have. Guys, there is an amazing beard world out there just waiting for you to dive into it. There are so many great products. And if you've been a member of this channel for a long time, I know this video probably wasn't exactly what you needed right now. So I appreciate you sitting through it, though, and watching it and supporting the channel like you guys always have. Guys, man, more than anything right now, stay safe out there. Stay bearded. Be good to each other. And I'll see you all at the next one, man. Be good to each other.